Okay, so in this video, Unity Tutorial 9.1, we're going to create a camera relative controller. So let's go into Unity, and we're going to create a new controller. We're going to make a whole new player, all right? Um, so we're going to create a new C-sharp script. We'll call it camera relative controller, okay? Um, so that's my script name in... Pascal case, camera relative controller. So let's open that up. And I'm going to close a lot of these, but I'm going to leave third person controller open so we can kind of look at some of this stuff. So give me a second here. My scroll wheel is not working. In okay, so here we go. Interesting. It's so strange. I'm guessing it has something to do with this. Sorry about that. For some reason, my mouse is acting silly in um, in Mono Develop. Sorry about that. It's just my tablet, um, but that's gonna be fine. So what we're gonna do is I just switch back. Nothing. Okay, that's fine. So what we're gonna do is we still need to get our input direction. Okay, um, so actually let's go to Photoshop. So what do we need? We need to find out which direction the player is pressing, right? Be it forward, left, that way, that way, right? So first we need to get our input direction. Um, we're also going to need our camera's direction. Um, and we need to turn these two things into... A movement direction okay so um, so let's let's set this up so we're gonna set, have a vector 3 input direction we'll set that equal to vector 3 or we'll set that equal to a new vector 3 0 0 and 0 okay so we've created a new vector 3 which is 0 0 and 0 and assign that the input direction so we just have our new the direction. Um, we also need to know which way the camera is facing. So let's just create a reference to the camera. So we'll say public transform, uh, capital transform, Pascal case, because it's a type camera. Okay. So public transform camera, and then we have our input direction. Um, we're also going to need a character controller eventually to move our character. So let's just set that up. And um, we need a float walk speed. Okay. Um, so in order to set up our input direction, we're going to do that the same as with our um, third-person controller, right? So let's just get our horizontal and vertical axes. Um, so we can say in our update method, let's just get those. So we'll say, oh, maybe we should have set those up up here. So float horizontal and float vertical. Okay. So we're going to say horizontal equals input dot get axis horizontal and vertical equals input dot get axis vertical okay so if we take those two inputs we can say our input direction equals new vector 3 horizontal 0 for y because we, we control the y direction with the spacebar and vertical okay um, so we're getting our input direction correct uh, so the next thing we want to do is we need to um, well, well, so we, we're going to need like a final, um, we're going to need a final, um, what direction, but first let's get a reference to the cameras, uh, forward. So we'll say, um, vector three, and we'll call it camera forward, and we'll set that equal to the camera, oops, uh, looks like we're 
Um, looks like we're over. So we'll we'll simply call this my camera. Sorry about that. So I wouldn't rename the tra the transform property up here to my camera because uh, camera is already used, I guess. So we'll say my camera dot transform. Oops, my camera is a transform. So we can just say dot forward. So we're getting the camera forward. Uh, so um, so we don't care if the camera is angled or not, right? We just want to know in this in we just want to relate it to this direction. So we're gonna we're gonna cancel out the y value. So we're gonna say camera forward dot y equals zero. Um, and then um, we're gonna need to find out. So remember we were talking about this. We need to find out if we have our so now we have these two things, right? We have our, our input direction, and we have our camera forward, right? And so our input direction is this way, um, our camera forward is this way. So we need to find out how far we need to rotate to get from here, our input direction, to our camera forward, right? So let's, we're gonna find that out using, um, we're gonna find out that using a method, um, and it's gonna return type quaternion. So quaternion is how um, Unity stores rotations. And we'll call this quaternion the camera relative rotation. And we'll, er, yeah. and we'll set that equal to quaternion dot from to rotation. So that'll give us the angle between that we need to, or the rotation we need to make to go from one rotation to another. And we're going to rotate from vector 3 dot forward to uh, camera forward. Okay? So what this does is it lets us what this does is it lets us know um, so actually this is uh, this is a bad example because um, what this lets us know is so say we're pressing this way this also lets us know um, how far our camera forward is from our basic forward. So our basic forward is our, our global forward. So how far do we have to go from this to get to this? And then we add that to this. We add that rotation to this. And we get a new forward. We get the forward we want to go. Okay, so we add that rotation to this. And actually, we want it, it's going to go a little further. It's going to go off to the left. Okay, so we add that rotation there. Um, so let's go back to Unity and set this up. So, so we have our rotation. Um, so we can now multiply. So let's get another. So this is going to be our 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 our, our final move uh, this is going to be our look direction so this is um, gonna be hmm, hold on okay so um, so we need to first we need to tell um, our player character which way to look so we're gonna say look direction equals or no not look direction. Look toward equals camera relative rotation times our input direction. Okay? So we're going to get uh, we're going to get this uh, not that arrow this arrow here. Okay? So this is this is the arrow we're going to get. Now we want our player to look at kind of this dot here, okay? So the way we're going to do that is, um, in order to get the player to look there, uh, we're going to say, um, so first we're going to check to see if our input um, is uh, actually greater than zero, okay? Because we don't, we don't need our character to look anywhere if um, our input isn't anything. So what we do is we just take the input direction and see if its um, magnitude or its length 
uh, is greater than zero. So to see if it even exists, okay? And if it is, I'm going to create what's called a ray. And we'll just call it um, look ray. And we're going to create a new ray. So look ray is going to equal a new ray, which starts at our position and ends at our look, or and goes in direction look toward. Okay? And so what a ray is, uh, if you uh, don't remember from geometry, so that's okay, a ray has a start point and a direction. Okay? So what we're saying is, on our player, we want the ray that is our start point and our look direction. So this arrow. Okay? And now we're going to get a point somewhere along our ray. And I'll show you how to do that. So, so we have our ray. Okay, um, then we're going to say, um, we're going to say transform dot look at look ray dot get point, we'll say one. Oops, I forgot the second part. So what this is going to do is our, our, our new player is actually going to look down the ray. So whichever, ray the, whichever direction the ray is pointing, the player is going to look there, okay? Um, uh, the final thing we need to do is we need to tell our player um, to move forward. Okay, um, so we're going to say controller dot move. Uh, actually, let's so let's create uh, let's have let's create a vector three that's going to be our move direction. So just like in our other script, vector three move direction equals new vector three zero zero zero. Okay, so we have our move direction and our input direction. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to say move direction equals transform.forward times walk speed uh, times input direction dot square magnitude um, times time dot delta time. Actually, we can, well, We'll apply that at the end, okay? And then we're going to say controller dot move move direction, okay? Um, so uh, the last thing we need to do <laughs> is we need to assign this controller. So like we did with our enemy, we're just going to assign it here in start with get component character controller, okay? So in our start method, we're just going to set this character controller. So let's go back to Unity and try it out. Oh. So, oh. So what I've done here is let us delete this. So in order to try it out, let's make a new player. Um, so I'm going to take this player. I'm going to turn them off. Okay. I'm going to create a new player. So I'm going to go to um, create 3D object capsule and it looks like they're below the world so I'm just going to move them up there they are so I've got my new player I'm going to leave them kind of white for now uh, and that player is going to need a camera so let's child a camera to it move it back move it up look it down okay so I just here let me look at the values here so zero three uh, negative 5 and 24 degrees okay um, so this is gonna be our new player this capsule here so we'll call this uh, cam relative player and we're gonna add um, first we need a character controller so add component character controller add component um, camera relative controller um, so uh, this has two values right now so we need our walk speed we'll do 5 and it needs a camera my camera set to transform. Okay, so let's test this out. Let's hit play. Oh, whoa. So, 
so interesting. So because the camera is um, a child of the controller, uh, it's moving in all sorts of wacky directions. So let's unchild that camera and let's test this out. It's moving fast again. Um, so let's open up. Let's, 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 what did I do wrong? Oh, I forgot to multiply times time by delta. So if we add time dot delta time to our controller move, go back to Unity, let's hit play. Uh, so now, um, we have our character moving around again. Okay, seems kind of normal. Uh, but notice if I move the camera somewhere else, um, well, if you move the camera somewhere else, you can't see my hands, but um, it is now, when I press forward, the character is moving away from the camera. When I press back, they're moving back. When I press left, they're moving left. When I press right, they're moving right. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, so we have our camera relative controls. Now we can't child the camera anymore, so we're going to have to do something about that. And also we need to put jump and whatnot into here. So um, in the next video, we're going to re- um, put in the Y values, and then we'll do another video, and we'll um, have the camera follow the player around. Um, so uh, for now, though, I'm just going to hit um, stop, and uh, I'll be right back.